Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to Seed Sunday. Seed Sunday is a weekly series I run on my channel where I show you Seed's Minecraft console edition, which are particularly interesting and worth checking out somewhere. And this week's Seed is definitely both those things if you're looking for a new survival world style down on. Because most of the Seeds I cover for Seed Sunday are incredibly niche, really cool Seeds, but you know, really focused on one particular thing. But this is a great all round Seed for survival because it has a nice mixture of biome. Because if you look at this uh, shape of the map, uh, so basically the way biomes work is you can only generate certain biomes next to other biomes. So because there's so much land, uh, separated by so much, it means that it goes from plains to desert to savannah, uh, then to swamp, then to like jungle, then to like, you know, like mega tiger, then to regular tiger, then to plains again, and then you're into jungle again. It's, it's a really, really crazy seat, and I really, really like it, but as well as having that nice mixture of biomes and a really, really cool map shape, it also has an ocean monument right next to a mushroom biome, it also has two villages right next to spawn, and it also has a witch's hut and potentially a jungle temple too. So lots of crazy stuff all on the same seat. I think you'll all enjoy it. If you all do, please do like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like Seed Sunday. I'll be talking about like kind of the future of Seed Sunday towards the end of the video so definitely stick around for that and also you'll learn more about the series in general. But with that said let's get straight into this week's Seed shall we and let's start by saying what the Seed is. So if you type in the Seed Toycat Poke 220 onto any Minecraft console using the classic world size so if you're on 360 or PS3 that's just default but if you're on Xbox or on PS4 classic world size and you'll get this Seed right here and you'll spawn somewhere on this relatively flat little ground here. So yeah pretty nice spawn if you ask me I think you know flatland is always nice because you can kind of like you know mentally build your stuff here and then go out to actually make it a dream in case that's not your thing what you might want to do instead the moment you spawn it just runs straight to the south the reason you want to do this is because there is a village right over there and this village actually has a blacksmith chest too so if you don't know uh blacksmith chest loot is randomized from platform to platform but in this particular case if you're on the 360 as i'm recording it you get two pieces of iron armor you get yourself an iron pickaxe which is pretty nice and you get two gold ingots a really really decent head start on the game also there was a rabbit on there a second ago which i, I think is pretty great as well as that you can obviously get food and just yeah a really nice head start in your game always great to have a village next to spawn also there's a second village just a little bit further that way uh, it doesn't have a blacksmith chest but it does have it's, it's a desert village so that's nice and uh, also between this and there there's a lot of savannery stuff and yeah just in general if you want to settle down somewhere about rain you get a really nice patch of the map down here with that however the first thing i want to show you that really is kind of like extraordinary about the seed is the fact that if you go this way to the southeast you end up at this tiny little mushroom biome so it is connected to land by the tiniest bit which is uh, you know just about expectable right here which is pretty cool if you ask me and yeah it's a mushroom biome where you can find mushrooms really 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 cool thing but the other reason i like this mushroom biome is because if you look at uh you know look at the edge of this thing it's really really close to the desert temple that's uh, to the ocean one but sorry i get that kind of mixed up so yeah as you can see mushroom biome just over here and then you know like 50 blocks over there you've got the ocean monument so that means that you can actually use this as your base for attacking the monument or you can just make a bridge from here you know build along that and then like directly attack the thing while still having access to land. I think it's a cool idea if you want to fight a monument and you've been having problems in the past or you just want to do that as part of like whatever you're doing. This is a great seed for that and I just love that. It's just a starting point of the awesomeness on this seed. So yeah, with that said, look, mushrooms, isn't that lovely? Mushrooms and guardians, two mobs which can only be found in particular things which don't spawn in all seeds, both together, both next to each other, Guardians of Mushrooms, isn't that great? So yeah, with that said, also, uh, I wanted to sh uh, show you just kind of the biome thing I mentioned, because yeah, basically there is a temperature system as of uh, TU31, which means that basically uh, biomes can only spawn next to certain other biomes. So you can only have like a desert next to a savanna and um, some other biomes like that. You can't have savanna straight into ice spikes. However, uh, you know, very rarely anyway. Uh, however, uh, as you can see right here, there's so much map that it means that we go from desert to roof forest to swamp. By, by the way, we get a witch's hut, found at these corners just over here. Pretty cool stuff if you ask me. Uh, find yourself some witch and all that sort of stuff. Also, flower pot in case <laughs> that's more interesting to you. But yeah, as well as finding yourself a flower, point, uh, flower pot and uh, a witch hut and all that stuff, you can head further to the north and you find a tiger biome. Oh, also, there's an extreme hill here, which is pretty awesome. You head further to that and you find yourself another plains, a really, really flat plains that would also be great for, uh, you know, like building on. If you want to kind of be away from the action of the monument and all that other stuff, in case that's not your thing, run through the forest some more and you'll find yourself another tiger biome, which leads into a jungle biome, which, by the way, this one should contain a jungle sample, but again, for some reason, I, I it's, it's just not here on my particular seed. Maybe it's like a current glitch with the tower update, or maybe it's that, but you might find one here. I figured I wouldn't include it in the title, because just in case uh, not everyone can find it, but still, there should be a jungle temple here. There just isn't me. But as well as the jungle temple, there is a ravine. This ravine is really cool, because, you know, jungle ravines always look extra cool to me, but also because the jungle ravine goes into a second jungle ravine, which takes you down even lower, and then it goes into a third jungle ravine from that. So yeah, 
Three jungle ravines, ravines, I'm having problems saying that word, all connected to each other. Pretty cool if you ask me, given this is just kind of a jungle, on the way to a mega tiger. Because the tiger does eventually lead into a mega tiger. Here's a really small uh, snippet of it on an island here. And maybe if you want to be a mega tiger island challenge, then this is the thing you do. But more realistically, you want to head to the north, and you'll find this thing over here. Again, boulders, uh, you find coarse dirt, you find the other one, which I'm having problems remembering the name of. All of this stuff found together, pretty awesome stuff, great stuff. So yeah, with that said, we'll move further to the east now where we head more into a morph jungle. This is a, a, a bigger, deeper, thicker jungle, I should say. So if you like your, your thick jungles, then this one's great for you. But in case that's not your thing, you just head further to the east and you'll find yourself, one, a melon patch, which is always nice. But two, you find yourself another plain slime. So again, this one's great because you get the view of the jungle and you get the view of that and you get a view of the ocean if you go further enough to the south. But uh, I assume more realistically you want to keep following it around where you get, you know, more and more biome mixtures of not just the usual biomes you'll find of like, oh, roof forest and, uh, you know, savanna only. No, it's a really nice mixture of everything else until finally you get this pretty nicely sized extreme hill that kind of works as a big mountain separating, you know, this half the thing from your spawn, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Oh, by the way, actually, uh, these you can almost go like in a full loop around this map because this river is the only thing stopping you from doing, like I said, a literal full loop of the map where you go, oh, yeah, go back here, all the way to spawn, and then suddenly, boom, you got yourself a full circular route of the island which I think would make for an amazing little project like have like uh, you know minecart rail which takes you all the way around the land I think that would make uh, you know if, if you're a survival server with lots of friends that would be a really cool build so yeah this is uh, what I'd recommend the, the, the seed for really if you want to start a new survival where you're going to get a bunch of stuff this has the nice mixture of biomes it has the stuff that you need that you would ha otherwise have to go get yourself it has you know both of the rare mobs that can only be found once per seed and as well as that it's got some other stuff which I wanted to show you right now so first of all at spawn uh, very close this one actually there is a wow there's so much sand in here there is uh you know actually uh, an end portal so it's found at these corners right here minus seven 217 you have to dig below the ocean which is why i went through the cave like that so find yourself here uh, somehow eventually uh that's where you find the end portal but next to the end portal or you know a, a few cray doors away i should say as you go past some giant lava pits which uh, it got me mixed with, uh, you actually find yourself a chest if you go left here, and inside the chest you're going to find yourself three diamonds and four bread. I mean, most people are more excited about <laughs> three diamonds than four bread, but if, if you're a bread person and you want to ignore those diamonds, guess what, you can do that. But as well as that, there's also another cave nearby, which I think is pretty great because uh, if we fly it through this too, so back through the cave we're going to go. Uh, basically, I had, I had a single request in the comments that like, oh yeah, why don't you do more diamonds? It's been a while since you did one. And I figure, you know, every, every now and then it is the one comment that gets to me. And in this case, it was just a nice comment asking politely. So I figured, you know, if you want to see more diamonds, here's one set of diamonds at minus 20, 15, 2, 3, 2. And if you just follow this same cave along, so that's three diamonds already, you can just follow it around here and you'll find yourself four more diamonds. These four are a bit more risky because they're near uh, lava. So just go in here, mine the four diamonds, be a happy person. So yeah, there's also gold found in this cave. It's, it's just a diamond layer cave, so you can find a bunch of stuff in here if you want to explore it. And yeah, that's just what I found literally while looking for a few seconds uh, inside this big cave. I think there's more stuff to be found, but you know, you can find out for yourself by playing around with this cave. So yeah, let's just mine out this thing now. Probably cause some water to go on the lava, but that's fine. Pretty great spawn area. Pretty great, uh, you know, like a uh, selection of both a mushroom biome and an ocean monument. A relatively rare uh, combination. It has the NPC villages already formed. It has a witch's hut, so you can make a witch farm a lot, lot easier. And it has just all of this in one seed. I think it's great. I'd love to hear your opinions, though, in the comments down below. I scared that was actually the thing right there. I'd like to hear your com uh, opinions in the comments down below. And also, before we end the video, um, like the video if you did like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one about Minecraft console every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Okay, now let's talk about the future of Seed Sunday because I think we're getting to the point where we might need to like not be uh, every week series because it has been that for the vast majority of this year. However, I think Seed Sunday is really great and there is so many cool seeds to be found, but there's slowly gets to the point where it's really hard to find them. Like I've spent, you know, like hours looking at particular things like this or that seed and I want to still find these things and show them to you when I do, but I don't know if it's an every week thing because every now and then people are just like, oh, this is just another seed. I mean, a seed a week does seem excessive after the updates are out and you're usually playing the same worlds. So what I think we should do with Seed Sunday is at some point soon, not be every week. So if you see there's a week about Seed Sunday, please do explain to people it's not going to be every week for a little bit because otherwise it will be like non-stop. Oh, where's Seed Sunday Toy Cat? You know, I, I, I get people asking where's Seed Sunday Toy Cat when I upload it because I upload it later on the day. So just to kind of avoid that, I want to kind of have that out there. So yeah, Seed Sunday will be weekly for a little bit longer and then we'll kind of slow down a little bit till the next update because that's when there's always new stuff that people want to find and uh, that's when I'd like to cover that. So yeah, I hope you did all enjoy this Seed Sunday because I'm going to oh, do all the stuff I said previously if you want to anyway. Um, and for now, I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day, everyone.